So how do you actually make money in the market? When it comes to equity, there are several ways you can actually make money in the market. But due to Jamaica's market size and the sheer access power available to an average individual that lives in Jamaica, we will just narrow it down to three ways. The first of which is capital gain. And capital gain is simply, let's say you buy this particular stock, Grace, at $100. And a month later, the price moves to $110. You would have received a capital gain of 10% or $10. The only thing is that 10% or $10 is gained once you have actually sold the stock. So it's basically like you realize your profits now at that particular price. Now, at that time, it is called capital gain. The beauty is that you are not taxed on capital gain in Jamaica. Yes, there are fees to process transactions, but there is no tax on it. The second way you can actually make money in the market, and this is personally my favorite way, it's dividend. And this is pretty simple. A dividend is essentially a company saying thank you for being a shareholder. Dividend is normally paid out after all expenses, all operation income and expenses are paid off. A dividend is at the bottom bottom line of the financial. So you would receive a dividend payout after everything and every expense is paid. But essentially it's just money that a company decides to give the shareholders and say thank you for being a shareholder. And the Mayberry Tracker does this for you to show you how much dividend the stock pays per year. Anyways, as I say, dividend is just to say thank you to the shareholders. And it is essentially just a percentage of the stock price. So let's say Grace paid out $4 and the stock price for Grace is $100. Now, Grace would have essentially paid out 4% of the stock price. The only drawback with dividend is that this is not a sure thing and companies can choose to keep the money in the business for either innovation or just cause just because they don't feel like paying. The other issue is when it comes to dividend, it is also tapped at 15% of whatever amount is being paid out to you. So let's say Grace is paying you $4, that $4 would be taxed at 15% and you would receive $3.40. And not to worry if you're going to have to hassle to pay them or nothing like that. Bro God receive him money before you even see her. So that's that. The last way you can make money in the stock market, it's called pledging. And this is basically using your stock as collateral to get a loan to buy whatever you want. And the benefit to this is that you can get the money without having to liquidate or sell your stock. And you would still receive all the benefits the stock would provide. The drawback is though that you can't sell the stock until you have paid off back the loan. Essentially, you do have some prerequisites before you'll be able to pledge your stock and it might vary based on institution but there are some similarities across all brokers. So in order to pledge your stock, what will happen is that you will have to send a request to your broker by email or call or just go in, you'd have much much faster. And what will happen is you have to have at least four main market stocks in your portfolio. If you have an issue finding out which stocks are main market, well, you can check the JMB platform whenever you are ready. Or as of the time of recording this video, here are the list of stocks on the main market. Afterwards, they will assess your portfolio and let you know how much you qualify for. Normally, it's around 50% of your portfolio value. When the whole process is complete, you will have to sign some documents and then you're good. You should receive your money within a day or two weeks, <laughs> depending on your broker. The interest rate is normally 7.5% and you can pay it over the course of five years. And that's really some of the ways you can actually make money from the market. So see you in the next video.